hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel salesforce hunt this is rohit and today i'm going to show you create overlays with the new model component in winter 23 release so this is the new module inside winter 23 release for the lwc so if you want to create your model component reusable component so you can use this module inside your project so how to do that I will show you step by step guides and implementation of this one so please watch this video until end if you want to learn something new and uh, if you are new in this channel also you can subscribe my youtube channel for more updates so let's get it started without any further delay so right now I'm in my VS code so I need to create first of all model component so in this model component recently you know recently in winter 23 self release a module in in LWC named as lightning slash model right so this module can be used to create the model pop-up overlays in LWC with the standard templates tag so this means you don't need to have any custom CSS overlay or header or footers right this this is the benefit of this you know module so I will show you step by step how to do that so first of all let me create a lightning web component so here I need to enter my uh, LWC component here let's say model pop-up okay so this is the LWC component now you can see it's created successfully here so how to use uh, this module here so if you want to use like a model module inside your LWC so you have to import first of all like import and uh, that is called lightning right model right from uh, let me add that is here and it's uh, coming from lightning coming from single lightning slash model so this is the module right so you have to import it in your uh, component and you can use it this module inside your project so this is the way to import your lightning module right inside this component it can be anything but uh, this you can see this is the necessary module inside this component right if you want to use like uh, lightning modules so once you've done it now I need to create one handle handle okay so based on this handle okay button I want to close this pop-up or model so how to do that so this dot close is already defined this clause inside you know a module so you have to click on this ok right so just save it once you've done your JS file now you have to design your HTML so how to use the HTML for this one so you can open your file like model this one and now under this template HTML you you can add uh, let's say card first of all if you want let's say card and you can change it based on your requirement here inside this one I need to write like lightning hyphen model hyphen header so uh, this is the new tag so lightning so lightning hyphen model hyphen header right so this is the new tag inside this module and under this tag this is the required things let's say label right so you have to give your label name so my label name let's say my model heading or heading something like that right so this is the header of the model and same thing you can create for the like lightning hyphen model hyphen body so this is another tag so this is the body here you can see my model body and footer also you can create the footer let's say this one here but in this footer right in this footer if you want to use it you can use it but uh, uh, let me define like label ok button right first of all ok and uh, you can use it any kind of you know like on click we already defined this handler so just copy this one paste it here and remove one another extra button from here so this is a custom model 
given by this uh, winter 23 release Salesforce right so now you can see uh, our footer and button let me close it here this one footer right so please observe we have three parts in this model so first is header body and footer right so once you done it now you have to use this component inside your any kind of you know parent component because it's a child component right now because it's a reusable component so how to use that let me show you so first of all you have to create a new component and new component name can be anything but for uh, my case I'm using like so control shift P you can create new component let's say my app now you can see my component is created successfully if you want to use that module from uh, this uh, particular project so you can use it using import a statement like import and model pop-up from this one right so let me create the directory first let's say sing in the single code you have to give single code under this single code you have to use like C slash and model pop-up so this is the way to import your component inside another component right so under here in this JS let me add some you know uh, like handler or something like that so how to do that first of all let me add this result uh, property here and it's asynchronous so asynchronous handle it's a handle right click handle click and under this handle click I want to define uh, let's say model pop-up create model or something like that open model so how to do that like let me create the const first of all const result equals to await this is asynchronous process right await and then you have to use like uh, this model pop-up because it's a module so you can use here like this model pop-up dot open dot open and this is the callback function under this callback function we have to define like let's say size description based on your requirement you can use it right so for now I'm using like size first of all let's say size uh, it's a large for example purpose like large description we can use description as well like description like this right so based on this one you can use it any description as you want for now you can see our uh, this model pop-up is successfully imported here and use it here right and after that you can see here uh, console.log right so how to use it this console.log let me show you here so under this method I want to show like a uh, this dot result equals to this dot result and after that console I need to console it like this dot result right you can use it like this and this dot result goes to and comma so once you've done it now you have to design your HTML so you can use like my app HTML under this one you have to create a like a lightning button so how to do that let me show you here right or just let me remove this card from here because I don't want to take any card here right and also this one let me save it and under here I need this card lightning card so LWC hyphen card or just you have to press like card we have LWC card here just remove it under here you can create the button here so let's say button LWC button so it's a button LWC hyphen button okay so LWC hyphen button you can see the natural brand basic based on your requirement you can do that right so label is open my model open my model title you can give any title as you want any handler 
so let's say on click so I need to use this handler here so on click like handle click so we already defined this handle click so just copy it and paste it here right save it and uh, let me define one p tag under this p tag I need to show the result right so here we have to use data binding under here you have to write like result save it and now let me open this my app XML file right so I need to expose it so just make it this is exposed true and target just save it and deploy the component first of all you have to deploy your child component otherwise you will be get an error definitely so let me deploy this sorry uh, this child component first of all this one so once you deploy it now it's time to deploy your parent component and here you can see successfully deploy both components right so let me open my org under this org you can use it anywhere as you want let's say I want to use under account so you have to open your account here any record page as you want as you have right just click on this gear icon click on this edit page and uh, once you click on this edit page now under the custom you will be see my app here like my app you can drag and drop anywhere as you want let's say this one my app you can drag and drop like this save it and just go back once you go back you will be see our you know this button and a result hello you can see right so once you click on this o open my model so it's open me uh, my custom you know like LWC new model winter 23 model just click on this open or just uh, copy this lightning model and replace this element like this because we already missed something here so you have to deploy again because it's a module so always use like your module name here and just let me refresh it and let's see what happened so once you refresh it just click on this open my model so now immediately you can see my model is coming this is the header right this is the body and this is the footer and this is the large you can see and once you click on this ok button now immediately you can see my result ok so just click on this open close it now it's perfectly working based on our requirement you can change it our code so let's say in my model component right in model uh, in my app and my app js we have this kind of you know like size so you can make it like size uh, size small medium and large so let's say medium let's see what happened so once you make it as a medium you will be see a difference between the size of this model so how to show that let me deploy this component and let me refresh this page you will be see the differences between the large and medium so just click on this open model now you can see the, um, this is the medium size of this model right so again let me show you the another property of this one let's say small right just save it deploy this and once you deploy it you will be see the small you know model so just click on this one refresh page once you refresh it now immediately you can see like open my model just click on this one so you can see the small one right click on this ok you can see the capturing value is ok so based on your requirement you can use it anywhere as you want because it's a very most important module inside winter 23 release in salesforce so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you like this video please like share and comments and please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching Thank you.